Well, hey guys, what are we talking about? Once again, you saw it in the title. We are talking about the Civivi Elementum button lock. And as you saw from the title, elegant design, fatal flaw. In my opinion, only in my opinion. But without any further ado, before we get too far into it, turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music that I'm probably going to get a copyright claim on. in the background is Dope or Nope, uh, formerly Matthias, um, and it used to be High Five Studios. A lot of stuff has changed, but this is a fun channel just to kick back and relax and enjoy. They go through and they, they find all kinds of weird items on the internet and then they review them, they buy stuff on Wish, and then they, they, they give you like five items to enhance your summer, things like that. So at any rate, what are we going to talk about? Well, like I said, we're talking about the Civivi Elementum button lock. Now, I like everything about this particular knife, with the exception of one very, very, very important thing that I think is a fatal flaw. Now, I have handled the Civivi Elementum before, and I like the knife. I like a lot of items about the knife. It's this specific iteration that I have a problem with, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to do a review of the Civivi Elementum, and then talk about how this Pacific, Pacific? How this Pacific model. It's like when you're a kid, you can't say spaghetti, so you say pischetti. Um, this specific model has a flaw in it that I think makes it an absolute no-go for me. Um, I don't even hate the deep carry pocket clip on this one, to tell you the truth. So, surprise, surprise. Let's go ahead and take a good look at it down at the workbench. And like I said, go give these guys a follow. While I can't support them monetarily, I can definitely send them subs and views. Sometimes that's every bit as important as all the other things. All right, guys, let's turn this around and take a good look at this. Whooper reel, uh, I was getting ready to film this part about the actual tabletop of the knife, and I have managed to misplace said item. I just thought you'd see the humor in that, so uh, let me go find guys. This is the Civivi Elementum button lock. Now, before I get into any of the things that I talked to about in the in intro, we're going to talk about the actual knife itself. So what are we looking at here? We are looking at a knife with a 3.5 inch blade uh, that is a flat round drop point in Sandvik 14C28N. You guys know I love that steel. We have a cutting edge of 3.25 on this with a hollow ground on this gorgeous, gorgeous blade. Um, you've got a handle length of 4.5 for an overall length of eight inches. And this is a stainless steel frame lock that runs on ceramic, uh, ceramic cage ceramic bearings. Um, so they're listing the blade thickness at 0.12, but let's get the calibers and take a quick look at it. Out and ready this time. So just go ahead and grab this real quick. Make sure that's zeroed. There we are, we're zeroed. Somebody said one time, it was like, you didn't make sure it was zeroed. It's probably what was wrong. So they said 0.12. I'm looking at 0.1185, 119, real close on that. That could be a difference in the tumble. Now let's go ahead and get some weight. They have it listed as 3.42 ounces. Like we already know my scale is not the most accurate and it doesn't do decimals, but we'll look at it anyway and see. So they say 3.42 ounces. I figure it's going to come in right at three and a half, three and a quarter, somewhere in there. Um, so in grams, that would put it at 92 grams. It is not a heavy knife. Um, so this is done, like I said, this is a stainless steel frame lock um, that is done with 14C28N, one, a super, super great steel. Um, but you're also looking at... Uh, olive micarta that is done really, really well. It's comfortable. It's not too polished and slick. It's not too thick. You get some really good attractiveness with that black liner on that orange micarta or uh, olive micarta. This pocket clip, even though it is proud and doesn't stand up, it is not at all a hot spot. Like this knife, if it wasn't for one thing, I would love this knife. And I love the, I love the elementum. 
So I want to get that out of the way. I have one issue and it just is the mechanism that's on this. Uh, pocket clip, not even an issue, which is out of character for me with these deep carry pocket clips. And one of the things that I found is if I find one that has a deep carry pocket clip and I like the knife and it doesn't bother my hand, I will actually carry this and I did carry this. I carried it in my pocket towards the front uh, up near the hip so I, I could have two knives in my pocket and this didn't dig. So sometimes when you have a knife like in back towards the back part of your front pocket and then you put one in the front, sometimes you dig, if you sit down, it digs. This didn't because it does sit nice and deep. So, I mean, you could convince me if you can make it comfortable that that allows you a little bit of latitude in carry. It does have the back spacer with the uh, separate lanyard hole so you don't have that ugly hole in your knife but you can still put a lanyard on it if you want and it's not going to affect the way it feels because it's not going to stand up proud and there's no chance you're going to cut your lanyard. 14C28N with a nice coating and a nice tumble. It is an attractive blade. It comes down nice into a hollow and it cuts really well and Jared and I have talked about this. 14C is one of those steels that holds up to about a 5,000 grit edge right here. As you can see, I did use it. There's a little chip right there. Um, it holds up pretty well and holds a nice aggressive edge, even at the five, 8,000 grit range. So, you know, there's all the good things about this reversible pocket clip, beautifully done, micarta. The knife itself is attractive. Now, let's get into why I think that this particular model has a fatal flaw. That's the only way to deploy it, guys. So I have other button lock, I've, I have had other button lock knives. This is a button lock knife. As you can see, I don't have to only use the button to do it. I can also flip it. I can also use this uh, fuller. I, I have a hard time with the aperture because my hands are large and I can't get in there. Um, but you can flip it with the aperture. Button lock with a flipper. This does not have that. There is only one way to deploy this knife, and that is to push the button and, and wrist it open. I'm not a big fan of that, and I I would have to look into it. I believe that gets into some legalities where it could be considered a gravity knife, I, I believe, like that, that push a button, like switchblade gravity knife kind of thing, where you push a button and with the flick of a wrist have deployed the knife. I believe that some places this would be considered a gravity knife and could be illegal. So there's my flaw with this, and it is a fatal flaw. This this particular model I would not buy. Now, if any of the other Elementums, which I have handled before and really did like, definitely purchase. So the Elementum itself, not the issue, just this particular model with the button lock. I want you guys to be, I want to be real clear about that. I love the knife. I just don't like the only, the, that's the only way to deploy it. Um, having a different kind of button lock with a, a, uh, a, a different type of deployment where even if it was two-handed and you could pop it open like that, great, great, great knife. So like I said, elegant design, fatal flaw on this model. Now I do know, like I, I say all the time, these are my opinions. If you like that button lock thing, I know it, it can be fidgety, but I just, I don't like necessarily that because if you need it and you, sometimes you can't get it out depending on whether it's up or down, they're, they're, you know, it can be cantankerous. So, and then, you know, but uh, yeah, I would definitely buy any other configuration of this knife besides the button lock one for me personally. Um, now I do know that I've been told that they are coming up with a button lock flipper uh, or already have. So that might be an option if you like the button lock. Like I like button locks. I just don't necessarily like it being the only way to deploy the knife. So guys, I'll give you a price when we get up and, and look at it in the final thoughts. So. Let's go ahead and meet up up there. I was just getting ready to film another video and I was reviewing some other stuff and I realized that I did not mention the price on this. So since I had everything set up to do another knife video, we're getting ready to, I'm getting ready to do the Asher Knives uh, Sparrow um, first impressions. Uh, I realized that I didn't do uh, the, in the outro, I didn't do the price. So these are 6630. These are 6630 on Blade HQ, but unfortunately they're out of stock. And like I said, uh, I, I believe I say it now. I would love, or I may have said it previously because I've already shot two, two thirds of another video already. This, um, this just this specific configuration wasn't for me. That's the fatal flaw in this, not the knife itself. So, all right, I'm pretty sure that 
now comes some outro stuff. All right guys, so like I said at the tabletop review, I like so much about this knife. I like the way it cuts, I like the steel, I like the way it feels in hand. I don't even hate the deep carry pocket clip on this one because it puts it in a position in my hand that it's just not that bad. It carries well in the pocket. Like I said, just the fact that you only have one deployment method just makes it a little bit difficult. And I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but there may be some legalities at play. I do believe that that, that kind of changes the category that this knife falls into. Um, I'm not gonna throw it out there and say it does, but there's, you know, it just kind of gets into that gray gravity knife zone. Um, but there's so many good things about this knife. And I just, it, it's kind of ruined. I would, I would want, if I was gonna get an elemental, I would want everything like this, except the ability to deploy it with a thumb stud or a flipper. Even if this was just thumb stud only, that would be great. But just button lock only, and then just having to wrist flick it open. Just it doesn't it just doesn't do it for me. So I, like I said, everything else about it is great. So guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. Um, if you want to support the channel, I do have the membership tab down below. There's a link to to join the channel as a paying member. We've got 33 paying members now. Keeps going up every time I shoot a video. Um, you get access to exclusive content early access to videos, depending on the tier, you may get in on giveaways like this month I'm giving away, I can't see it right now, but I'm giving away a CJRB Crag to the premium and baseline members. Um, if you want to, if you like a specific video when you throw me some support, there is a super like button down below. It's like super chat or super sticker, but for pre-recorded videos. And if you just want to su support me by like sharing videos, like I'm doing with the guys, like with the stuff I'm putting up, support the channels you love, that's great as well. Uh, I have a, affiliate links down below for all kinds of shit. My merch store, I just dropped the, I just dropped the curse word in the outro. Um, all kinds of stuff down below, tools and all the stuff I use. Um, <laughs> so there's also my merch store down below, which is now through Ember Shirt Co. We talked with Justin last night. I want to apologize for the for the timber of the and and the the kind of direction that 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 podcast took. I got my first Fauci ouchie yesterday. I still don't feel great. I didn't feel great last night. Just kind of tired, run down. I do have an autoimmune disorder, so you know that, that, that vaccination may hit me a little bit differently than others. So, guys, I love you all. Take it easy. Be good to each other. Keep it clean in the comments section, and I will see you in the next video.